Hello, my people. Welcome in. Today is 22? I think it's day 22. Holy cow. We only have like six? No? Eight days left? I'm bad at math. Don't worry. Just just, just don't don't worry about it. Uh, today we do have a training pack. Hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys are excited. Get those typing fingers or copy-paste fingers ready to put some stuff down in the... to get into the training pack. All right. We're gonna warm up. I mean, you guys know this. We do this every day. We've been doing this every day for almost a month now. So warm up. Vibe out for a minute. Let's chill. Unless you want to skip ahead, then that is completely acceptable as well. But I do recommend warming up a bit. I've already been playing a little bit today. So I feel warm, so it might not be as long of a session as normal. And I feel like my air dribbles have gotten a little bit better. Even if it's like... Like, I don't know. 10% better. Like, even then. That's beautiful. And that's all I can really ask for. Remember, the um, harder the mechanic or the more like consistent you want it, the harder it's going to be to get there. Because like once, once you are good enough, and it seems like improvement's kind of dragging, it's because it gets harder and harder and harder to improve the better you get at something. So it feels like you're not improving as quick. Probably because you've gotten good to the point where it takes exponentially more time to get better. So just keep on vibing, keep on training. Um, dang, aw. Anyway, today, uh, sorry, we are going to be working on getting some catches that are kind of awkward, kind of just like thrown down on top of you. Kind of happens a lot um, where you're like shadowing or something, or like someone just scuffs and kind of hits the ball kind of like I don't even know how to just like show you let's see if I can do it here like let's say someone's up here and they hit the ball like that right you you'd be catching the ball on this end here trying to recollect as quick as you can to the other side and convert it into an air dribble and that's kind of what we're going to be working on today just something again just to kind of make us uncomfortable and, um, yeah. If you guys enjoy the training pack, if you want it different, then definitely let me know. Because I can update these and change them at any time. I might even add more to them. I might update them kind of after the series is done, too, while I'm doing them. Because I'm going to be using these packs probably for quite a while. I also plan on making my own packs just from, like, replay reviews. Like, recreate situations that are, like, uncomfortable for me. Because I think that would be good for me. Because there's just some weird situations that don't, like, happen every game. But happen enough to the point where it probably should start figuring out how to deal with it. Just being able to convert. Like taking the ball back to your side. Stuff like that. It's weird. But I think that's what I'll do soon. Sorry for the rant. Okay. I'm feeling pretty warm. So I think let's just get into it. I suck at ground air dribble still. This is one that's like still hard for me. Especially like after you're moving and you're going quick. It's a harder one to get really quick because you have to have your dribble down pat. Okay, I got distracted. Anyway, let's get into the training pack, shall we? So, it is this one here. Why oh, it's not even uploaded? Huh? the upload button so this one you can already see there's gonna be some weird ones this one's yeah, it could be arguably the weirdest one um, but I wouldn't worry about it too much just do your best to catch it it's gonna drop really slow for this one just cuz sometimes those slow catches can be a little weird you'll take it to the other side 
Hammer should run down by now. And you've got to hit the air dribble. It's this really weird, like, slow bounce. And you'll want to kind of speed the ball up to get it to this side. Pretend you're grabbing that boost. Other guy should kind of be cut up by now, maybe over that way. Um, if he tries to take a 50 with you, you can take the 50, or you could even go up the wall. But it just kind of makes you control the ball from a weird catch. I mean, you could go up here like this. Let's see if we can get up here. You can just shoot the ball if you really wanted, but if you see him going back and you have some time, I mean, you may as well catch it, control it, maybe take it to this side, get him out of position. Maybe he's in this corner now. Come around, you know. Kind of imagine where the opponent is. Maybe he's coming really quick, so you have to beat him here. You don't have enough boost, so you kind of got to get a really good setup. Maybe fake something. But just make sure you're, like, always trying to envision the opponent. Maybe fake going up for it. You come down, you catch it. You fake going towards his net. Come back this way, you grab your boost. Miss the ball. And that's, that's bad. Fake. Come back. Grab this boost. You get to this side. Get the worst air dribble of your life. Pretty clean though. If you want to be really good, you can try and get an air dribble from here, but I think it's going to be pretty hard. You have to have like a pretty solid first touch. That's not what this pack is for. But these get really weird because you have to like look for your opponent, try and catch the ball. Because if he's giving you space, I mean, you may as well take it. Maybe get a ground to air dribble going. Change directions, maybe. Get a catch here. And maybe take it to an air dribble. Just try and play out weird little scenarios in your head. That way you're, like... I think it makes you better. Because then you, like... If it comes up in game, you're like, Alright, we're here. He's up on the backboard. I'll get a reset. If you have time, see what he's doing, keep an eye on the opponent, and go up. You get a bad touch like this and you have to control it back this way. Maybe you have to flip into it, get a double. Just whatever you want to... Make up. Maybe just get a really good catch. See what he's doing. Maybe he's low on boost. Pick it up. Up. Back down. Dribble. Second shot here is extremely weird. It bounces out and then it bounces back and towards. This is more of like a. They just made a save. Kind of messed up. Maybe they double commit, and you now have the open net. I don't know why my controller keeps randomly disconnecting, and uh, it just happened again. I have no idea why it does that. Very unfortunate. Even the overlay, like on the screen there, just kind of went away. Anyway, they messed up. You get a catch. We're trying to get a catch. Might be quicker, but that's fine. We practiced quick air dribbles, so you should be fine. Same thing here. Catch. Ideally, you want to catch like that. You can even do a fake jump. Maybe make the other guy think you're going to do something different. Set up. Just tickle your brain a little. We you want to... Take it to the ceiling, completely mess it up, and go for a ground pinch and mess that up. But as long as you're kind of tickling your brain. Maybe someone's backboard here, right? So you want to maybe try and hit it around him. Or bait him out. Did 
just have all the time in the world, so you just want to style, you know? Big jump. You want to catch it here. Hey, get up to an air dribble this way. Make a cut infield. You can figure out what's causing my controller to disconnect randomly. I think it's just the USB port. My computer, like, sometimes just decide that, oh no, nothing's plugged into this, and they, like, shut off or something. And the same thing was happening with my headset the other day. I honestly didn't think I had the reset there, so I just kind of was like, oh, I'll flip, I guess. Ever happened to you guys? You want to take it to the left because he's not saving the left. Remember, good setups. We want to take it all the way to the other side because he's in the other corner. Remember, practice both sides. Following the speed of the ball. Try and get a um, better setup than I did there. can't wait to like maybe revisit the series in like a year or two once I'm like hopefully SSL by then. I'm just making it so much better. That'd be really cool. Now that I'm SSL, let's really get into it. Maybe at the fake that you're at a boost. I think it's pretty strong to kind of fake that you're at a boost. Or sometimes, even if you just go up like this, and you stop going, and then you get like a last second touch, you can really, really mess with people. So this one's a little weirder. It's kind of a weird pop, like someone beamed it off the board. Same thing, though, you take it across the pitch and come back up. You just try and get there before the timer hits zero, or make sure it doesn't bounce. This one if you really wanted to. Make it to the air. But it would be pretty hard to get a really good power side bounce on this. Let's see if we can get one. This is a good angle for one, but it's gonna be really hard to hit it. I hit it that first time really well. And after that I was like, nah. You can't hit that ever again. But if you want to try and catch it like that and get like a nice pop here, pick it up. If that's what's hard for you, then by all means do it. This one's a little faster. Just making you get these touches that you want. Getting used to like different velocities of the ball and trying to counter those with your car. You're gonna practice both sides. And you really want to make sure you get the, the catch on this because if you don't, it makes it very hard. Catch, ground to air dribble. Maybe you mess up like this and you gotta try and get a pinch. Always worth, you know, trying. Sometimes you just have to try what makes you uncomfortable. Like that, that was a good catch. Another weird, awkward, like, high one. Try and get this one into a ground to air dribble if you can. 
You know, catch it, that's fine. Catching the ball is really hard sometimes. Especially at these awkward angles. A little bump, maybe. Same thing, though. You can speed it up if you want this way. Grab this boost. Uh huh. Do that. So you know I'm not SSL, right? That's pretty nice there. That's what you don't want. You don't want that pop over you. Because that little pop gives him so much time to come at you. You just don't want that. Never do it again. That'll give the opponent so much time to be like, oh, I can I can go. And you can probably bet that they're gonna go. My favorite from here is just trying to get a really solid catch. Getting that to like a ground air double. Make sure you have ball cam on for the start, because it's very awkward if you don't. Make sure it's just a little bit faster. It's okay if it bounces awkward, because this will give you a good opportunity to set up maybe another shot type. It's the same thing. Getting a good catch. Rolling it to the best of your ability. Maybe you don't get the touch you want. Just try and, regardless of what happens, try and work off of it. Because you'll run into these situations a ton in game. And then you can make a mistake look like something intentional, which is the real secret, I think. Adaptability, I guess is what you would call that, huh? Just being able to take maybe a misplay of yours and change your plan really quick. To suit whatever you're doing. That's why it's good to, I think, know so many mechanics. Because the more you can... That was really trippy. I don't know what happened there, but I got, got like, vertigo. That was weird. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Just... Keep working on these weird ones, and hopefully you'll add to that repertoire of diverse aerial mechanics, and you'll be able to pull out an aerial from anywhere on the map. This one's like right in front of the net. This one you can catch this way, or you can catch it, take it this way, or you can just straight catch it here, and you can do a long ground to air dribble if you're comfortable with your ground to air dribble skills. This one, this one has a, a few different possibilities, because if they shot there, they're probably on the other side recovering from over there now. Might have more time. Might be a 1v1 if it's a 2v2 scenario. I'll be able to get a clean ceiling touch here. See your teammate down there and you just make it easy for him or something, you know? The hardest one is getting the touch this way. Or getting a clean touch that way anyway. Rolling it out. It wasn't really the direction I wanted to go with that. Most viable one's probably just going to be catching it and taking it this way. And getting that set up. Probably as quickly as you can. Oh my goodness. And then this one's just kind of the same. Like, imagine you're shadowing and he just kind of beans it this way. Pretty air dribble. This kind of situation, I think, happens a decent amount. Especially if it just kind of doinks off your backboard. And then you'll just kind of have this set up.
pretty good little training pack though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That might be it for the video. It's kind of late where I am, but you know, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for enjoying the series with me. I've been having an absolute blast. Um, and yeah, share it with your friends, family, co-workers, dog and cat, you know, whatever you want. That's gonna be it for the episode. Peace.